Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey boo. <laughs> I am back with another video. First of all, before we even get this video started, okay? Let me just say, hey to my new subscribers, okay? I see y'all really rocking with my uh, audio videos and I really appreciate y'all for that. That lets me know that I have some loyal ones. But y'all to still listen to my audios and things like that, that lets me know that y'all value my advice and y'all are still kind of come and listen to me even though y'all don't see me, okay? And so that really makes me feel good. So let me just say thank you for supporting me so much. So y'all see that title. So y'all know I ain't gonna make too much long intros or nothing like that. We just gonna get into it, okay? So let me just say hopefully y'all have been having a great week, okay? Yeah. You just gonna have people that envy type of positivity that you have. So basically, I'm gonna be speaking mainly on just those people that just seem like you know how when you're going through um, certain points in your life and you see those people that just kind of like standing around watching you go through certain things like they watching your um, pitfall moments, you know, your dark moments and things like that. And it seems as though this person kind of take pleasure out of seeing you down. You know what I'm saying? And then when they see that you are still smiling, you still keep your spirits high no matter what you're going through seems as though you always try to keep good energy you know what i'm saying because you have a strong faith and belief in the lord and it doesn't matter what the enemy stand up against you you always stand 10 toes down and it's just gonna always be those people that just see you and and the thing is and when i say positivity i mean real positivity not that fake stuff not that whole um faking like you happy when really deep down you know you're not but it's just the thing of uh, you knowing that things are gonna get better for you at some point you are not gonna sit and wallow in your struggle or in your pain you see the best in every situation you see things as a learned lesson you don't let life get you down you don't like let life beat you up you know and if you are that type of person that you know how you see them type of people going through certain things and they be making jokes and stuff they they make a joke about the situation that they going through and you literally just sitting back looking at this person like how is it that you still smiling and laughing through all of this how is it that you still <laughs> got all this good energy even though you going through hell right now it's because the person has a positive spirit you know some people just got that on them it doesn't matter what situation they going through they are always going to see the light through it and you are going to come across those people that just really just hate the fact that you have a light on you, that you can smile, that you can still keep yourself cool. You know how you see those people that don't look like what they're going through? You know what I'm saying? You would never know that this person is going through certain things unless they told you. And when this person tell you what they went through or what they are going through, um, you would be flabbergasted. You would be looking shell shocked like, what? Like, really? That's what a lot of people envy, you know? Some people are just negative um, and just have a nasty heart and a nasty spirit. You know, it don't matter what this person do. They are just always going to have a nasty, mean spirit. You know what I'm saying? Some people just, they can't be, you, you know, we are going to have all different types of people out here. But you know how those people, they act like they're a good person, but really deep down they not. You know what I'm saying? It's fake. You know how you ever had somebody do something for you and it seemed like they only did it because it was forced to do it. Whether it be like, it, it can either be, it can be a job situation. It can just be any situation you encounter in your life where you need this person to um, step in and do a service for you or just anything for you. And they have to act like they want to help you when really they don't, you know, really they don't like you. Really they don't like it's just something about you that they just don't like you know and a lot of times it is just your spirit um your positivity and things like that a lot of people wish that they had that on them they wish that they had the type of spirit that you got and see the thing when i'm gonna go back to certain things that you go through in your life people will literally see you you know what i'm saying going through certain struggles and things like that these would be the type of people that will see you graveling will see you down and they will not reach out a helping hand to help you. You know, they'll stand in and watch you suffer. But then when 
they see that you like, oh, you know, you see, this is how you know that the Lord works through people's lives, you know, because you can tell when somebody have a strong faith in the Lord and they just have like, they just have a different take on life. They see life differently. You know what I'm saying? They try to make the best of every situation that they go through. And you see this person just got so much light on them. People just are usually drawn to them, you know? People always want to be around them. People always want to talk to them. People always want to share their personal life with them and things like that because the person just, the, the person's spirit is just beautiful. They just got a light. They just got this positivity that is just infectious. And some people just don't like that, you know? You know how you ever heard a person say things like, um, like I said, like for instance, the fake positivity thing. It's just like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's something weird about people that see, just seem like they just want to see people at their lowest, you know? Some people really do take pleasure out of seeing people down. And then, and then see, this the thing about your enemies watching you suffer. You know, you'll know, you'll know your enemies when you are going through certain points in your life and you see that the person is just kind of like a witness to what you are going through. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of weird how that this this would be the type of person that they'll see something bad happen to you or something like that, and they'll just stand there and be like, "Oh man, you know that's messed up." You know, oh, man, I feel so bad for you and all this and that. Well, you would have the relentless ones that would just like just literally stand there and watch. You know, you could tell that they are taking pleasure out of seeing you down. You know, and. You would, the, you would have the ones that's being fake, like, oh, dang, you know, that's messed up. Like, man, girl, call me. Or, dude, call me. When you you know you need some help, just let me know if you need my help or something like that. Like, that's really messed up when really deep down. They are taking pleasure out of seeing you down, you know? And when you come with this good hat spirit, because the Lord gave you the strength to um, get through that struggle and that pain, whatever you are going through, um, that's what they are envying. You know, they want you to be upset. They want you to be angry. They want you to be crying. They want they want to basically see your suffering. They they see that they see that you're suffering through something. They want to see negative emotions come up out of you. You know? You know how to, you see those people that like to see, like I said in their last video about do your um influencers respect you? Where I said some people just take entertainment out of people being angry and stuff like that. You know, they like seeing people getting riled up and things like that. That's see, that's what they want. A person that likes to see people suffer, a nasty spirit, a disrespectful kind of spirit, the, the rude kind of spirit. These people, they don't want to see you smiling. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you seeing the best of every situation that you are going through. And it don't matter how much the devil sent up against you, you are always going to stand strong every single time. That's what they envy. That's what they wish. Some people wish that they had a positive spirit within them. They wish that they had good energy they wish they had that smile that you get they wish they had just some people just wish that they could be you and it's really gonna mess y'all head up right here a person they want to sit back and watch you suffer they can't have everything you know what i'm saying a person with a nasty evil spirit is not going to be able to be happy no matter what they do no matter what point they are in in their life, um, no matter how much money they making, nothing can ever satisfy a nasty evil spirit, you know? And so the fact that you can still find peace and happiness through certain situations and things like that, that's what they want. They hate the fact that you are still finding joy in life, even during certain struggles. They wish that they could see your pain. You know what I'm saying? They already see your struggle but they want to see your pain behind that struggle that's the thing you know because they don't know how to be happy you know they're miserable people they just can't seem to be a good person at all i had something happen earlier this week um uh, and the person that came to do a, some to do a service for me and this is this ain't really this this is referencing what happened earlier this week, but I'm talking about every person I have encountered that has had this type of spirit. A person came and did some services for me, you know, and they had a really nasty attitude. And I was just looking at this person, I had to ask him, I was like, Are you okay? And they were like, Excuse me, I'm like, Are you okay? And then he was like, Yeah, I'm okay. And I was just like, 
people really want to see your pain through certain things that you're going through, you know? And so, and then it's just, I, just going back to those people that's just being, you know, and showing fake concern and things like that. A person will always show their hand every single time. You know, a person will always reveal what type of spirit they have behind them. And this person may be seen as a good Samaritan, but the spirit from within them has been revealed. And people with nasty spirits, a lot of times, some uh, uh, these people are often seen as good Samaritans, you know? When something's going wrong, who they call this person? Um, they need it, uh, to, a listening ear who they call this person. They need this, they need that, who they call this person. But when this person came across you and they seen what type of spirit you had on you, they knew they couldn't put up no front, you know? And when you revealed that spirit from within them, they was upset about that. They sitting up looking at you like, oh, well, I'm a good Samaritan. I did this, I did that for this person and that person. And I got a good rep on my name and this and that. Ain't nobody here really nothing to say. And, and see, this is the thing about nasty spirits. You're not the only person that has encountered this nasty spirit. See, the spiritual ones I already know a nasty spirit behind a good facade. This is not a good person. That's the facade that they put up, you know? They don't have a care or regard for people. No empathy. Nothing, you know? The person will sit up and act like they're trying to help you. Or really, they're the one. And times out of 10, y'all know y'all probably had this situation happen before. These people are the reason why you are suffering through certain things. Um, you wondering why certain things keep on steady happening to you. And you're not understanding why it's happening. All these unfortunate events in your life and things like that. And then you start to notice that every single time some, some bad happens to you, this person seems to be right there. It's because nine times out of ten, the other person is causing this because they want to see you self-destruct. They want to see you riled up. They want to see you angry. They want to see you hurting. They want to see you graveling at their feet because an evil nasty spirit is a weak person. They weak mentally. They don't have mental strength. They don't have joy. They don't have happiness. They don't have peace. So they want to see everyone else around them suffer. You know? This good Samaritan's facade that they putting up has been revealed. The fact that they can't fake with you, they're bothered them in some type of way. So they couldn't try to do anything they can to try to um stop whatever plan you got going, stop whatever the, the, the plan is that can take away your happiness, you know? And like I said, when you going through those low moments and it seems as though you should be sad, like you should be through, you should be done, okay? Mentally, spiritually should be out of there and the fact that you're still holding it together you still having a, a smile on your face and you're making the best of your situation that person don't like that they want to still see you glow that the video where i made about the witchcraft and things like that witchcraft is a form of thoughts too um energy you know what i'm saying negative energy casting spells evil spells through thoughts you know a person can be thinking something negative about you. It can be, and a lot of times when you are going through certain um, um, unfortunate events in your life, it's more than one person that is sending these evil spirits up against you through their words, you no know, backbiting, gossiping. You can tell when certain people, a group of them, have been talking negatively about you. Some people just really just have a nasty spirit, and these are the type of people that you need to stay away from. I'm talking about people in general that are like this. People that do services for you. People, a person with a nasty spirit is going to destroy and defile everything that they touch through their words, with their hands, services now. We're talking about services, not when it comes to nasty spirit, you know? You know how you ever had that person? You go to the restaurant, you order some food, or when the person that took your order or the person that was cooking your meal just had a very nasty spirit, you know? And you got your food, you paid for it, and the food was just terrible. It's because that person put that nasty spirit in it. But what if a meal to be good, you got to put your good energy in it. You got to put your joy in it. You know, your time in it. It takes time. And it takes good energy to make a really good meal, you know? And so when you got this person who's got a disrespectful, nasty spirit, you know? 
and get your food and it's nasty and then next thing you know the next week you have food poisoning you see it's because that person put an evil spell in your food okay that's witchcraft on a totally different level that y'all don't know nothing about but that's gonna be another video for another day but when i say services and people having a nasty spirit you, you got to get to a certain point to where your discernment is so strong to the point where these people can't even do services for you. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll corrupt everything that they touch. they put that spell of witchcraft upon you through the things that they are doing for you, the services, you know? You go to pay your phone bill and the customer service rep person is nasty with you. You know what I'm saying? This person had a bad day. Um, people with nasty evil spirits, they always seem to have a bad day. That person don't never, you never see, this is the person that you rarely ever see smile. It always seems as though they got something going on so they just can't never have a good day, you know? And this person is doing services for you. This is the type of person that you need to, um, can I speak to your manager? Um, can I speak to your supervisor? Just can somebody else do services for me because I'm not finna cast that bad spirit upon me. Okay, not even while you are doing services for me. But yeah, this is just anybody that you come across. And they come in to do a service for you. And see, this is the thing. This is how you are going to be able to reveal a, um, a nasty spirit from it, within this person. This good Samaritan, so to speak. These people in these um, certain authority and kind of positions where they are doing services for you. When something goes down with your services or something like that, you can see that this person is kind of taking pleasure out of seeing you suffering, you know? Something happened with your, um, it, let's say for instance, that's a cable in your name, some internet. And the technician that they sent out, it had a nasty spirit. And you let that nasty spirit into your home day it was something that was going on with them before they came to you with their negative energy and they didn't know how to hook up equipment they was having so much of a bad day to the point where they didn't even take the time to do their services correctly you know and now all of a sudden they didn't hook your internet up and they leave, you know, they didn't want to do it in the first place, you know, and when I say, when I come make videos about letting evil spirits to your home, I mean, that's big too. Before, when a person comes to your door to do a service for you, and they got to come to your home to do it, this person's energy got to be right before you can let them in your door, you know? Do not let an evil spirit in your home, even to do services for you. And I know that's something y'all probably ain't never heard before. But let's say, for instance, with the internet, the person hooked your internet up and left. You know, they did within 15 minutes. They didn't even greet you or nothing like that. Just just get up and get, get in and get out, okay? And you turn on your internet, you know, you ready to watch you some TV. And the services are not working. It's all type of dysfunction. With the um, cords, um, they didn't take the time to put the equipment together right everything just seemed like it's kind of thrown around and it seems as though this person did this purposely you know because they know that people take pleasure out of watching tv and so whatever type of evil spirit that they had on them they brought it up into your home and caused disruption in your home and they left and then you had to call a person but they're like this person came out here and hooked up my cable and he had a nasty attitude when he came in. Um, he didn't put no foot uh, covers on his feet. He just walked in on my carpet with his dirty shoes, knowing that I got no white carpet. And just ready to just, and you could, you probably didn't even ask this man to put no foot covers on their feet. But a respectable person knows that when you come in a person's home and they get carpet, you're supposed to put either take your shoes off or put covers on your feet. You ain't never mentioned it to this person that they needed to do that. <laughs> But they had so much of a nasty spirit, they didn't care how they came into your home. And that's just an example. <laughs> I'm just using examples. But yeah, you called the people back and told them that your internet wasn't working, you know? This person either didn't know what they was doing or they purposely did that. Like I said, something about your spirit that just kind of upsets people. Bad and good spirits never mix. It's literally oil and water. <laughs> never, you know? But yeah, nasty spirits do not 
Y'all gotta learn how to discern those nasty spirits. They are um, sent to destroy you and disrupt your peace. And see, when, when these people can't, one thing I have noticed that people like this do, when they can't, when they see that they can't really get to you or upset you, they'll get the people closest to you. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like somebody doing a drag bag. They just open fire around the playground where there's a whole bunch of kids running around. You know, you know it's kids out here. You know it's kids out here. And you just ran through with your gun trying to look for your target. And you didn't hit an innocent bystander. That's how a person with a nasty evil spirit is. When they see that they can't upset you and get to you because they see that strength. They see that God on you. They see that anointing on your life. They see that happiness and that peace and that upsets them. That is what they envy. And so they're going to try to hit the person that's closest to you. Discern these nasty spirits, okay? Keep them far away from you, <laughs> okay? Spiritual warfare is at an all-time high. And so we ask the Lord every single day to protect you and your family and keep your peace, keep your happiness, keep your strength and your faith in the Lord. And he's going to see you through all situations. When they were sitting there waiting for your pitfall moment and the Lord show up and show out for you right in their sight, and they were sent to destroy you, and the Lord show up and say, uh-uh, uh-uh. I see what you're doing. Blessing, blessings, blessings. And that's what they was envious and jealous of. Is that the Lord showed up and showed out for you in their presence. They thought that you were supposed to break at that moment. The Lord sent that blessing right in the presence of your enemies. Because what the Lord has for you is for you and only you. And can't nobody stop that. And hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. And I will talk to y'all in another video.